Yo, it's block four time. Starting on October 9th, that Monday, uh, we'll be jumping into the block and testing things in. This will be a 12 week long block that'll take us all the way through Christmas and New Year's, which is crazy. So let's get into it. Um, as we go through this stuff, this isn't obviously all we're doing. These are just the main focus points. You're gonna have built in progressions and test and retest at the end of the block. So in our gymnastic realm here, this is something I'm really excited about. We are gonna do kind of an unconventional little EMOM. So we'll do an EMOM four, and this is just a setup. This is one we're actually gonna test in on Monday. Uh, but this is the EMOM four in the same minute. You're gonna have a certain number of toe to bar and a certain number of box jump overs, and then you'll rest in the remainder of the minute, which won't be much. And we'll do that again for four minutes. We'll rest 90 seconds and then hit that whole EMOM four again, and then whole EMOM four yet again. So for three full iterations. Now, that's gonna be a structure or a setup that we'll be using pretty frequently throughout this block. We're gonna be alternating on A weeks or on odd weeks, however you wanna think about it. We're gonna have a kipping gymnastic movement. And then on B weeks, we'll have that same type of a setup with a strict gymnastic movement. So this is gonna be a really great way to get in some high volume and high intensity gymnastic work that's paired with some sort of aerobic or crossfit type movement after that. Um, with kind of gymnastic wise, is gonna be using our full range push-ups. I'm using it more in just a pure strength setting, but technically gymnastic movement here is full range push-ups. So where we're gonna have our hands on parallettes or a stack of plates and then feet on a box of equal height. And that way you can get a full range all the way to your shoulders, get like almost a deficit push-up and get a full lockout at the top. And we're gonna slow these down. I'm gonna pause for a second at the top, really get control just like you would on a back squat or a bench press. But we're gonna test in with three near failure sets with rest in between. I believe it's two minutes, don't quote me on that right now, but it's three minutes, or sorry, three sets of max effort uh, set of push-ups, rest, repeat, that'll give you a total number. That's something we'll be using as our test metric. We'll be working on this throughout the block and then retesting. We will be using some tempo work in our back squats and front squats. So during this, we're kind of gonna be trying to get a little bit more joint health in here. Uh, not pushing the top end weights so, super hard during our strength portion of these squatting. It's gonna be set up in kind of a moderate rep scheme, but you'll have a three second negative, a two second hold the bottom, a stand up, no more than a one second pause at the top and go right back down to the next rep. So it will be self-limiting for weight wise, but this tempo is gonna be phenomenal for you guys to kind of really find your balance throughout your squats and get your knees, hips, ankles, everything working nice and good for you there. So the tempo is awesome that will help all of our joints out for sure. Um, in our weightlifting portion, I'm gonna be using a pull plus lift setup. This is something that no matter how good or new you are to weightlifting, everybody could use more legs and a better pull with their weightlifting. So we're gonna be use a lot, utilizing that a lot. You guys will be going up and hitting your pull with a pause at the top of the, the drive here on the ball of the foot, get your balance. Nice, slow, negative the floor, reset the floor, and then execute the lift. When we do these, it's really important to try to get your same thought process when you do the pull, to try to trick yourself when you go to do the actual lift and do the exact same pull. And it just takes reps. It just takes a lot of reps in to get that down and make that muscle memory. So we're getting those in. And then, so that'll be once a week, you guys will have a pull plus lift to both lifts. And then you'll also have an accessory version of lift. So whether that's a sauce press or a hang snatch or a complex or whatever it may be, there'll be some sort of accessory lifting in there as well. This one, the bell of the ball, this one's the least sexy, but one of the most effective here. We're gonna be bringing back our 20 minute FTP test on an echo bike. We've done that previously and we're gonna do it again. This is a phenomenal way just to build your confidence and endurance on the echo bike. Some that's super common obviously in our, in our sport. So we're gonna spend a lot of time on that and build our engines for everything else. And then this gives you a really good uh, mindset of, hey, even when I'm tired, I know I can hold this pace because I did it in my 20 minute FTP test and this ain't that bad. So I really like this for uh, obviously performance wise, but a lot of mental mental toughness on this one as well. Metcon, so we're gonna do all sorts of Metcons and I'm not gonna list out all the ones that we will retest. These ones, the, the Metcons are not our primary focus during this block. This stuff is gonna get really hammered and kind of broken down during this block and then we'll be gearing up into open prep season after the holidays. 
Um, so then we'll start getting more and more Metcon focused. Still have Metcons every day, but you get the point on the focus there. So this Naughty List one, this one's legit. So the RX version of this is 24, 18, and 12 for pull-ups and GHD sit-ups, followed by 84, 54, and 36 uh, double-unders, which is gonna be a midline shit show, and the plus version goes 40, 30, 20. So 40 pull-ups, 40 GHD, 150 double unders and 30, 30, 100, 20, 20, 100, or sorry, 50. That one's gonna be gnarly core wise. I'm excited to see if this one's finishable in our time cap that we have on that. Uh, so we have that coming up next week as well. So during all of this, you guys, it's everything's pretty straightforward in your notes and everything, but I want you guys to make a huge priority during this block to really get in your accessory work. I have that programmed in all the time, and it's something that I didn't take seriously when I first started my career with fitness. So, uh, and looking back, that's one thing I really, really wish I would have done better with. So this is your opportunity. Let's do that now. Get all that accessory work in, stay healthy. We'll have a good productive block and be ready to kick some ass in the open. It's gonna be here before we know it.